Ah, shit, I did it again. I don't know how, but sometimes I start this game and, like, no matter what I do, it, uh, it won't register input. It truly sucks. For me. I mean, like, you all probably get spared another moment of my stream. So it's probably, like, you know, pretty awesome. Sorry, I'm, like, also way the fuck over here. I'm going to have to recalibrate again. But that's okay. I'm fine with doing that. Oh, man. I can't, can I? So if I just do this, it'll load correctly, right? Let's find out. Oh man, I also haven't, uh... Let me see if I can get the chat up. Everything's working. So the last time I was here, I had a spectator who ended up asking a lot of questions. That is the right way. Sweet. I'm literally just bumble fucking wandering my way. Take this elevator, I take it. A wind from below bears the scent of extract. The stuff we seek lies at the bottom of this pit. This shaft connects to the chamber above, where my kin sustain the Alex Vance. Once we have the extract, we can rejoin them quickly, provided we can restore elevator function. Kill the guardian, okay. Guess I know which way I'm going.
Scent of pride fetch beckons. Follow me while I travel to the surface. You have done the hardest work amidst interests in this chamber. Truly, the life of Alex Vance is in the evil hand.
such quantities of an army, such a heavy aroma. Are you kidding me? Head crabs instantly drown. Truly, Freeman, well done. You bear some traits we thought innate to Fortigai. Ant lion husbandry was once our ancestral practice. The creatures exude many valuable compounds. The extract is the most prized by far. It dissolves the false veils that divide the Fortessens. All this you shall witness, man. Freeman, I realize this moment may not be the most convenient for a heart to heart, but I had to wait until your friends were otherwise occupied. There was a time they cared nothing for Miss Vance when their only experience of humanity was a crowbar coming at them down a steel corridor. When I plucked her from Black Mesa, <laughs> I acted in the face of objections that she was a mere child and of no practical use to anyone. I have learned to ignore such naysayers when quelling them was out of the question. <laughs> Still, I am not one to squander my investments, and I remain confident she was worth far more than the initial appraisal. That's why I must now extract from you, some small repayment owed for your own survival. See her safely to White Forest, Dr. Freeman. I wish I could do more than keep an eye on you, but I have agreed to abide by certain restrictions. Well, now 
Listen carefully, my dear. When you see your father, relay these words. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. Sisters, her mortal form is regained. Take her. We team. have a very oh. immeasurable loss. Oh God. Lie I... still. Oh. Oh my God. I thought. I thought for sure I was dead. The Combine Hunters cause traumatic injury. A hunter. So that's what it was. We knit shattered bone and restored circulatory integrity. Yet it was a free man who retrieved her vortessence. Yeah, that's Gordon. How long have I been out? A matter of hours. Hours? Oh. We've got to get moving. A moment longer. But I, we have to get to White Forest. It's vital. No fear. We will put you on the right road. Now, try carefully to rise. Whoa. I don't know what you did, but I have a feeling I'm lucky to be here. Come then. I will get you on the path to White Forest. Come on, Gordon. We will continue Next our team. hunt for advisors. Farewell. Go safe. Travel well. Good luck out there. Okay, Freeman. Be adequate. What the hell does that mean, anyway? I don't know. Sounds like something the boards would say. I think I can walk on my own now. Let me give it a shot. Yeah. I'm stiff, but I think I'm okay. was a guardian. Someone must have done something to piss it off. The guardian is enraged over our theft of the extract. If it tries to hinder our progress, we will have no choice but to kill it. You messed with its eggs? Oh, no wonder it's mad. Oh, who is that these drops? Tank. Oh my god. The combine's on the move. Yes. And they carry shooting of A visor still in incubation pods. They gather and unite the scattered combine forces. So that's what we saw in the Citadel. They're sure in a hurry. They move north with great purpose. North? White Forest! We have to get there ahead of them! I know of humans with a vehicle not far from here. They will understand our urgent need. What are we waiting for?
may kill it without consequence. Dispatch those guards with great dispatch. Come now. The vehicle we seek is in the encampment above. <sighs> this lift will carry us to where the vehicle awaits. Yo. What is up, my dude? Holler at your boy. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Doing all right. Yourself? Not too bad. Trying to get out of work on all things again. Trying to what? Trying to get audio fixed for everything again. Just to reload my system this past weekend and uh, getting games set up again. I heard you have an issue with like, I don't know, a specific portion yeah. of your audio missing. Hey, 
Thanks, Gordon. Uh, just now? Yeah. <laughs> but in general, I'm just getting annoyed with Windows and going back to Linux for most things. This what version of Windows do you have? Us by now. Uh, it's you still Windows 10. Oh. Such a yeah, I'm still on Windows 10 as well. You... You not enjoying the Windows 10-ness? <laughs> the only thing I, I don't recommend about Linux is that it's just... There's there's no VR support, you know. But aside Ooh, from that, not true. there's no That's official set up. VR support. Like they do support <laughs> it, but like troubleshooting is something you basically gotta do on your own. Oh no, I had it running. Uh, oh gosh, was that about a year ago? Was the last time I dove in that way? It surprisingly wasn't bad. The kit was pretty good. I had decent tracking. Game support was all right. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, especially with the deck, that Valve is very pro uh, Linux, but... Okay, yeah, it's it. opened up a lot of doors the past oh, few gosh. years. But curiosity, how's the Half-Life 2 VR mod? Right. Um, to no good you know what? I really didn't enjoy Half-Life 2 when I first played it, like, years ago. But this VR mod has made things, like, really fun. Like, I actually enjoy the game so much so that hey, I'm look. over here in episode two. Oh, that bridge. I think I see the car you were talking about. Interested to see what's going that. on. I'm kind of hoping I get that feels from it. I don't think I ever completed it whenever I first run, ran through the game. It appears they attempted an There's a G-Man right there. Made it no farther than the abyss. Uh... It's kind of embarrassing, but when there. I played it, it was on the Orange Box version of Xbox 360. I think I played it on PC once, but I can't promise. We recommend the freedom for this task. Uh, console convert, huh? I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah, I mean, will not last long if you, you don't really have a choice when your parents are buying them, well, right? Do well to lend our protection from above. Uh, well, that's fair. So. But yeah, in 2015, I finally, uh, you know, I sat down and I said I was really tired of getting rid of my games. <laughs> so, I, uh, I went to PC and I haven't looked back and with VR it's been even better because thinking about it, like what if I invested PSVR on my PS4, right, because I have a pro. I'd kind of be shit out of luck. Here, I'll get this field down. <laughs> I've, oh man, I, I hate doing it, but I've actively told people not to get that unless there are specific titles that are on, locked to that console. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that seems to be the only reason to pick up that kit. Yeah, uh, the, the PC conversion is about as officially supported as war crimes. <laughs> Yeah, Sony. Uh, Sony's good at flexing for those ex exclusives. That. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what exclusives? I really that. don't know, like what you're talking about. Exclusives. Oh, back whenever, whenever the first three VR kids launched, they had a couple of titles they locked to the PSVR. Uh, couldn't tell you the names offhand, but it was like one really good racing title and maybe one or two other things. But for all I know, they may have been made available at this point. Well, I appreciate the audio check. I got to back off here. The next set of things working. I'll probably catch you around on one of these here sooner or later. That sounds good. I'll see you later. And uh, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Yeah. What an encounter. I really don't like the sound of that.
there is like an unintentional horror element. And that's what I enjoy. It's probably for the same reason I enjoy uh, the stealth aspect of uh, those gosh darn Elden. Hey. It smells like bitch in here. It smells like bitch in here. Oh man, you won't believe it. So I think I had uh, I had someone else join, and I kind of forgot that I was like just hanging out in chat, and I thought it was you, and it was like salty. I think. <laughs> it was just funny because like I was just hanging yeah. out. Yeah, and then I had to like pretend that I totally was intentionally hanging out here. Uh, Anyways. What did you say? Uh, we just... He was asking me about uh, the Half-Life mod experience and uh, basically... 10 out of 10, right? I mean, yeah. Because... Uh, <coughs> you know, I told him about how I don't like the games traditionally. And uh, then we talked about PSVR. Why don't you like the traditional games? Um, they're kind of boring, in my opinion. Like, uh, by the time I played it, because uh, I played it not, you know, as it came out, but uh, I played it on the orange box on Xbox 360. And, uh, there were other games that just were more fun to play at the same time. And I felt really kind of, like, lied to by everyone who's ever played it. Because they said, oh, it's the greatest game ever made. And... A lot of like the you know innovative features were like. You mean Half Life One? No, Half Life Two. Sorry, uh, I never played Half Life One. I like kind of played the first few levels, but like I haven't fucking played. Yeah, Half One Life is not that great. I mean, uh, there's a Black Mesa VR mod. Yeah, that that's I'm, the one I played. I'm gonna look into that. Uh, is it good? I mean, it's the same game, it's just uh, more graphically upgraded. Hmm. So, yeah, it looks fine. It's better than, than playing the original, I guess. But I haven't played the original. It was okay for what it is, but uh, mostly it was just then, like, an intense shooter, like running and shooting all the time. It's like like fighting the armies. Well, that and like, you know, the puzzles, right? Like in helicopters everywhere. I don't remember much of the puzzles in the first one. I remember like a lot of shooting the combine and uh, the strange bosses. Giant bosses. Yeah, I, I don't know any of Also very way too long. <laughs> also very way too hours. long. I like your reviews. Also very way too long. <laughs> long like much longer. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. Sorry, I'm just letting the fire do God's work over here. You're good. Still have my tea to drink. I'm glad you have tea. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna lose. So sleep. I don't cough as much. You what? <laughs> so I don't cough as much. Yeah. This is a good place to save. I'm gonna cough for right now. <laughs> 